let's keep working on it and we have the walls here now we can model the rest of the scene here let's decide what to do we have the bridge the walls i can model a new building for the behind and after that we're gonna model the construction building and the last modeling will be the sculpting of this landscape and i, I think i can uh make the start of the texturing on this episode i'm not sure so let's let's just start we have this building and like i said before we don't need to model completely new buildings but before that i need to turn off the shadow because it's lagging okay so the secret is apply the scale and yeah this one apply scale and let's try a couple of mirror operations just like that and i can try different world origins yeah that's better and also i can duplicate that and i can rotate that something like this now we're gonna have different looking building part let's attach this to our new building here just like this because you know i'm making it for myself it's not for a client and i can attach or detach anything i can i can do anything so we have we have new building with tons of new details and just like that which i'm okay with it oops just apply this and i can join now i can place it to my set here okay that's ready and we can place it to the scene it looks like it's a little bit more bigger building and it means that we can have some something like this and yeah that's okay it's something like this right it's a little bit deep in our version and now i need a couple of more structure here to fill this area and now i can make this construction building I have a shortcut idea for this. Just take this one again. Let's have it here. And apply scale. Mirror. I want it a little bit bigger than the uh, original one. And... yeah the result is good i'm okay with that so now we're gonna build a construction outline just like this it's a construction uh you know squares you know what i mean so how can we do it my solution will be so basic because it's gonna be so small 
I can also prepare it here. So yeah. I need I need kind of cross and duplicate it. Now I can clear the rotation. Do you remember that? We didn't apply it and it means that I can reset all the transform data. Just rotate it. Yeah, that's that's more than enough. Okay, we're here. And here. Yeah, that will work. I can join it. Now the process will be different. I gotta see it from the side view and I can move it to a new collection like construction because there will be tons of stuff like this item here and just duplicate it and I, I want to try it like this and after that I can decide what to do it looks similar yeah Hmm. Let's try it here. It's actually looking like this. There's no problem, but it's repeating itself so many times and it may be a problem for visual aesthetic yeah i can i can delete a couple of items inside so we can make it look different and dynamic we'll see we'll see it yeah i don't want equal lines here so i need to make it look different delete this and you can you can stay here there's no harm to leave it delete this one and now i need to lock it from the outline which you don't see it because of me okay now i'm I'm selecting this and I'm pressing period on the keyboard and you can find it. It's cube 31 and turn off the cursor. I, can, I can't select it now. It's so easy to work on this. So in this case, let's, let's make them join and I can select random windows sometimes longer and sometimes shorter I'm selecting more now and I can delete face that's exactly what I want to do so it seems like we figured out to make it look interesting that was the plan I don't want to touch the outside. I'm sure that it's going to look awful if I delete the outside. 
I think that's enough. Maybe I can delete a couple of these bars here or here. Yep. That's perfect. I gotta do same operation for the side view. So let's isolate this while you are coming with me. Oh shit. We made them join all together with the landscape. So select all the landscape and separate by selection. Now you can go away, right? I'm isolating the object with shift H. Okay. Just remember that. And let's do the same thing here. Little bit here and little bit there. Mm. Delete this one. Yeah, I'm happy with the result. Alt H for bring all the stuff back and we have the construction uh, site here, but look at this. We have another problem, so it's not a big deal. Let's try to clear. Let's clear the rotation and our problem has gone. Okay, that was the that was the, you know, action. Yeah. So let's make a shortcut, set origin to geometry and bring myself back. Hello. And let's make mirror on X axis. Dude, it's not, it's not what I try here. Okay. It looks perfect. Do you want to close this off? And if your answer is yes, let's make another mirror and we're happy. Yeah. Now I think I got to delete a couple of this structure since it's a construction building. So it shouldn't look like it's completed right let's let's think logical and you gotta be careful about this kind of details because you are trying to convince your viewers about the story you you try to explain or the story you're telling with your concept art so always try to uh make it realistic and logical for each details right yeah so it's a little bit looking like construction building but we can make it more yeah that's better let's delete a couple of more structure <coughs> sorry and let's try it just like this look at this there are flying pieces right now and that can be a problem. Yeah, delete this and these small pieces here. And what is this? Delete it here. And we're almost there. Yeah, 
you can you can also go away what what I'm not sure that if I want to delete so much. Yeah, just keep it. Just delete this one, not that one, please. So it looks like I need to do it manually. It's happening because I'm making it as one object. Do you remember that? We were making it as one object, so... That's a little bit problematic when it comes to select individual places. I think that's enough deleting the structure. I'm happy with the result for making it look in construction site, but these are not looking fine. So let's let's make them make them longer and make it touch to to bottom side, and it's also. A, Looking weird. Just clean up. You can also delete, uh, make it like dissolve edges, but be careful about the, um, the result. So let's try a couple of different selection like, no, nothing is working. Perfect. Let's make limited dissolve and check it if it's fine or not. Yeah. What a luck. So I was trying to delete this small vertices here because it's useless actually. Where are you? Delete vertices. Delete edge here. It's overlapped, and you can you can delete the face. Delete the face. I'm just cleaning up the the shape here. Let's try to delete the whole piece here. I'm just tired of cleaning up it. Okay, that's better. We haven't constructed it yet. So that's the story. It's not constructed yet. Okay. So we have the building for construction. This building here. And that's fine. Let's just join it. And... Let's have another copy for for the kit bash. So what's gonna happen if I make it textured? So my plan is this. I'm gonna texture them each of these kit bash like uh, objects and structures, walls and other stuff. And after that, I'm gonna link these objects like this. Let's say we're gonna replace it with the textured one. I'm gonna select and select this one and I'm gonna link object data or materials if it works, if it works. So that will be so easy to replace everything with the textured versions. So that's why I'm preparing a set here. So it, it's gonna be like a um, palette, maybe you can say that like a color palette but it's a building palette in this case okay so keep that in your mind and 
you'll see that it's gonna be so easy to replace now let's check the composition where is my camera we have the construction building just like we have here and it looks like that's bigger than the whole the whole buildings here mm. I think it's something like here. There shouldn't be any empty spaces here, but I think these are landscapes or the rocks, right? So I will keep it empty, but we're gonna have some landscapes there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this and we can have another one for this side. There's a corridor just like this. Okay, it's a corridor, but the small one. Let's make it bigger and bring it to the left. A little bit just like this and I can have another one for the rest of the composition because time is money and I don't want to waste time for making new building just just reach the final so fast but the, the best way not the cheap way okay so I made another copy and I can make another different cheat here just make it bigger just check it doesn't matter if it if it's looking like this it's it's not a problem because it's a concept art i just want to see it on this angle only and i'm building it according to this camera so you don't need to worry to place on the right positions so that's not a problem we have buildings on the left side we have buildings on the middle side. That's a corridor we have. Almost simple, almost, you know, basic uh, corridor. Maybe we can have a little bit more details or I can delete a couple of um, construction structures here. But I prefer to leave it like this. Maybe we can add or increase details later but it's okay for now so as far as i can understand that there are more structures here but it's blurry which is okay for me and let's make a blurry building here this time i can just make another building but so simple way apply scale and just check the origin on the geometry I can see it at all, yeah, here. And make a mirror. Yeah, it's a double tower, you can say. Make another one. Wow, look at this. Tons of details with just two clicks. Okay, right. Now we have another building. Let me introduce you with our new building. So let's make it exactly like this. So, using mirror in this kind of uh, projects, uh, there are a couple of more advantage. You can say that it's a building, but I can also say that it can be a, you know, a ground or it's a factory. Look at this. It's looking like a factory also. So, you can also make a crazy decision and you can stretch it just like this and now we have lots of buildings you can also say that so just travel around this structure yeah did you see so you have a small city or neighborhood also you can change the size just fill it or right it's like crowded shapes 
right? Just make it like this. You can imagine it with the textures. So look at this. I know there are lots of repeating uh, points like this, but it's also so simple to clear it and make it look different. Okay, so that's the secret for making incredibly crazy uh, crowded concept arts like futuristic cities, you know, maybe this topic, futuristic Blade Runner kind of cities, that's so simple. Just make a couple of buildings, prepare uh, maybe five or six uh, variations and you can have a huge city just with using mirrors, okay? That's the secret. Now, you can, you can take renders from anywhere you want. Look at this. Everywhere is, is perfect for making another story or scene. Yeah, I can I can make complete the new scene with just this this perspective or this perspective and I can make details and I can paste you know uh, some objects from previous projects. So that's a so fast work process if you are working for yourself. Okay, let's cut to the chase and Let's delete this factory city and let's place this building. But of course I need a backup for here. Look at this. We, we have already a good amount of city elements. Of course it's not over yet. And I'm gonna cut some pieces here, just like this detail. You know, it can be a generator or something i'm gonna cut it cut this spikes and other stuff so that's so fast go back to camera now where is my crowded building here yeah we'll get the chaos here there are buildings everywhere well let me show the solution for this this much crowded let's make a preview with the light okay so we have a sun here where is this here okay as you can understand we have a light source from the sun and it's a bright one yeah. Also, a little bit green and oh, yellow, but I'm going to make it in Photoshop at the end of the color correction. Just imagine. Okay, it's just for imagining it. So, I'm just following the shadows here, which is so dark for this area, it means that the light is coming from something like here, but also there's an artifact for the light. So why I'm, why I'm saying this. So it looks like the sun is um, shining here and lighting it here, but also you can see light here and the you know highlight here but it's not it doesn't make sense because it can't go like this if it's coming from the right side it, it seems like it's coming from right side but also there are interesting a uh, light here or here sometimes it's coming from top side and sometimes it's coming from right side that's because of the ai uh, result so it's a little bit uh, hard to get the same result with the lights because of this. It's looking fine, but um, it's a little bit unrealistic uh, physics. Okay, so what can I do for it? Let's say it's coming from, from the right side, like I said. 
so just focus on this building okay or this construction one so let's make it light it okay yeah it, it's looking similar right yeah it's coming the same angle same resource but look at the scene there are lights everywhere so we can make some you know some cheat what is this you can make uh you know you know you can make say fake uh shadows which is some planes like this look at the shadow here it's pure dark yeah almost completely dark so you can increase uh the shadow manually with the fake where is this plane okay i need that plane dude thank you let's go back to image editor okay we have shadow here so there's no problem with making a fake shadows look at this that's more close to reference right because i'm using another extra light so you can't achieve the same result with the uh, natural or realistic light source so we have exactly the same lighting for the construction one that's correct and you you'll see there is no light here because i'm trying to achieve the the shadow here so so when i try to have more lights for this building i'm gonna lose the shadow here just like this okay it's so bright and it's not so bright in our case and yeah that's that has a little bit lighter but in a nutshell we we need to make lots of different small lights uh, including some couple of sunlights or area lights we're gonna achieve the same result with the uh, fake lights okay there is no another way to achieve the exact same results yeah that's it i just wanted to sh explain it to you because you may try to have it with the one light you may say that yeah there's a sunlight here and you can spend your days to to have same result but it's not possible because it's a concept art and that's not a unreal engine scene or something like this so i love all details here all small light shafts here but you need to work it on yourself yeah that's so sad because it needs a little bit more of effort to have it but we will come to this okay yeah it looks it looks so close with the building styles and other details and i'm so happy with the progress and let me show you the bridge here yeah we have something like this i'm so happy with the uh, shadow amount of this this bridge here look at the under of the bridge and we have small uh, light areas here just like this but i changed it a little bit and we have the building here with the spikes so there is no problem let's let's make the color a little bit yeah a little bit green and you know so i'm gonna need another uh another building here actually or i can delete it or we can we can keep it because it's so close to reference and i don't think that it's a problem we just need to enlighten this building look at this there it looks like there's another powerful light source here coming from the top side because it's not possible to have the light here 
because it should be huge building to make it a dark with the shadow but it's so it's so glowing right that was i was trying to say so increasing it just not enough so you you need to uh decrease the spread so because it's looking like it's just making light only this area because it's some kind of focus point yeah so just turn it off make it a little bit yellow and yeah we, we can achieve the same result almost there is another platform here which is exactly here so i can i can edit easily but after we're gonna sculpt the, the landscape here i'm gonna decide it later but as you can see it's so close to reference and it's gonna look perfect when we finish it okay one last preview is the depth of field which is this background is blurry that's what i want to do on my version 2 but let's make it fill for now there will be a hill or you no know, rocky rocky mountain here so let's keep it like this select camera turn on depth of field and you can choose choose it with eyedropper it's so easy to make it blurry just just play with the f stop and you're gonna see the difference here okay the close area is blurry you can make it like this you can you can understand how it's working right so just make it a little bit these areas are blurry and we have this you can also increase it now everywhere is uh, clear and sharp so you can find the best result for yourself it depends on your needs you can also change blades and other stuff yep that's it i can also decrease the uh spread that's gonna be so easy to achieve exactly the same light sources. There are also glowing um, symbol here. It's like it's it's looking like ancient symbol. Uh, I realized that that's gonna be so fun to make a glowing symbol here. That's gonna be cool. Maybe it's mystical. Who knows? And okay, I think that's that's almost done look at this chaos here now we can work on landscape uh, sculpting it's not gonna be deal i'm just gonna make a couple of rocks and platforms just like this i'm just gonna work on this one and after that we can texture it it's so close to finish right Oh, I need another bridge here. Look at this. I deleted it. Just rotate it. Where is my building here? It's right there. Yeah, make it touch and leave it there. Look at this. It, it doesn't make sense with this version, right? It's, it's like you know solid mode and of course it's not looking fine but when it comes to light and render you're gonna see the quality and the reference so yeah we fixed the bridge problem and that was easy yeah i'm checking the height and other stuff also i have a good news for you that uh you can make it as night scene you can make it you know maybe a living city you can have markets cars and other stuff so 
it's so possible to convert it any kind of uh, story uh, with just a couple of uh, tweaks. That's what I like with concept arts. So you will be able to download it on my Patreon when I finish it. As I uh, uploaded it before, you can find all of my stuff on my Patreon. So just have fun with them. Yeah. Now we can start to work on the landscape. So in this case, it's simple actually, because we know what to do. We have the specific uh, edges and, you know, the, the canal and other stuff. So let's increase the subdivision subdivide polygons and add subdivision surface yeah we get it we get this one increase the subdivision a little bit more shade all the smooth or just smooth yeah that's better now that's gonna be so easy you will see that just take this sculpt tool but I need to figure out some problems. Let me show it to you. It has a little bit a uh, problem with the brush shapes. It just because of the applying scale as always. So you can try it again. Yeah, we have, did you see the difference with the brush? And that was the first step. The second one is Dynatopo, but I don't recommend to decrease it so much because it's going to be hell of a, you know, um, chaos and you can deal with it. So just don't go to this much um, numbers here and we'll see that. OK, I, I'm just going to keep it as seven or eight. Look at this. It's already so high detail. That's what I'm trying to say. So. Maybe I can, I can try eight. Hmm. Let me try five. I'm so scared. Let's try. Okay. We have this. I'm using shift for smoothing and we are using this draw tool here. And let's make simple uh, bumps just like this. That's the first step. Also, I need to show something to you. So it's working like working like this. Oh shit. It's crashed. Wait a minute, please. Why it just happened? I'm just trying to turn on wireframe. Yeah, that's so simple. <laughs> okay, probably, like I said before, it's too heavy for having um, so small uh, detail size. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Look at the amount of the polygons. That's so that's so deadly for Blender. So what can you do about it? It's so easy. Just increase it. But for that, apply it again because it's crashed. I didn't save it. Now I just save it. Always save it, by the way. It's not moving because Dynatopo turned off again. It's always turning itself off. Just keep it in your mind. Yeah, look at this. Now, if you press, uh, just click with left mouse, it's going to make uh, new polygons here. But if you make it smooth, it's not going to work just like this. So that's why. Just keep it in your mind. You can press click and you can 
just make smooth with the new amount of the polygons here. Okay, just keep it in your mind. Let's turn off and now we can have a little bit details and fast details, just bumps and other structures. In this case, I can have it just like this. I'm just pressing and having the new amount of the uh, polygons here. Okay, it's just for working. And now we have new amount of polygons everywhere. Okay, that's fine. Now, I hope it's gonna go to object mode. Please, 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 please. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay. Now I need to look at from this view because we need to have a hill. What happened here? Uh oh. Apparently we made it so, so hard. So let's go back. Just stick with the camera. Okay. Go back, please, 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 please. Okay, Houston, we got a problem. Now, it's not a big deal as always, I can fix it. So, my suggestion is just have another window. Oops, I made another undo and I'm gonna have another viewport for the overall camera just like this. What kind of song is this? Okay, now we have this. We have this as as the check-in. Just in decrease the subdivision, by the way, and sculpt it again. Now we have problem here, right? So just match it with the reference. In this case, we shouldn't see it just like this. So I can, I can make it like this. Okay. And I got to hide it. I'm just checking this left side here all the time and a little bit smooth here. Yeah, that's better. So, um, we have hill is going to this side. So in our case, it's not going like this. So I can have, let's increase the Dynatopo as 13. That's better. Decrease it and I gotta have more heal here. What kind of word is this? Heal here. Just a little bit more, please. Thank you. It's coming along on this way. Yeah, exactly like this one. And it's going like this. Yeah, that looks, that looks similar. By the way, uh, all of the tools have different kind of strength uh, amount. I mean that this one has this strength, but the smooth tool has different strength. So just keep that in your mind or you're gonna have problem with the sculpting. So we have this hill here, a little bit more. Yeah, it's, it's looking similar. There's another hill for this side before the bridge, something like this. Okay, just connect that. Yeah.
a little bit smoothing. Yeah, sure. All right, we have this. Now, I gotta check this area. It's looking like a, it's looking like a incline. Just a little big. Yeah. And we have the big rock here. But where is this? Okay, it's something like here. Just make it bigger. You can also use it. If you hold control and make it left mouse, it's gonna move only in that direction. Okay, so if you hold control, it's gonna go that direction. Okay, that's so useful. There are lots of different uh, brush here, but I'm going to use this one just for now. I'm increasing the strength. It's something here. I think it's kind of here. You can fix your mistakes by making uh, smoothness you don't need to be afraid of making uh, faults or mistakes with sculpting if you hold control with this brush it's gonna go inside it's making bumps and it's making holes okay it's the negative way if you hold control yeah, we got this. It's almost same here. Yeah. I'm happy with the results. Let's make another bump here. But exactly right here. This one, this blurry one. It's, it's exactly like this. It's gonna look so blurry when we use the depth of field. That's why I'm making here so close the camera to make it depth effect all right we have the similar area here also we can have a mountain here but just not now okay now we have this area but it's mixed with the structures and the landscape so i have no clear reference here so i can follow my own inspiration okay let's make some different kind of bumps and rocks here just like this i'm just making random I'm gonna use a landscape material when we work on the substance painter it's gonna look so perfect so there's no need to worry just have small details for the painter okay make it smooth and make some holes don't make them fly these buildings okay that's fine make bumps and holes it's more than we want go back go back please thank you thank you Nothing is changing here. Why? Which building is this, man? Come on. Oh, it's this one. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yep. 
now we can decrease the height for this area yeah that's better Yeah, I like it. All right. Actually, we don't need to make modeling here, but you know, in case of you want to use more area from this landscape, I'm gonna make it a little bit more detailed for for you actually that's a favor from me <laughs> okay no problem at all just there's no there's nothing bad with working on more extra details I just like it all right we have we have these hills here just connect the buildings they shouldn't fly okay that's nice yeah and we have the incline here that's it we have this here I just need to check all areas like this. There's a mistake. There's a huge mistake here. We gotta fix this. Okay. Just rescue their walls from the dirt. All right. That's not what we need here. Give our walls back, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just like this. And yeah, we have walls again, but let's work from the close distance and with less strength because i just want to have a little bit more details for the hills okay maybe big rocks here just like this You can also add water here that will be fine but it's like a dead city so it's probably there was no water so i don't wanna place water inside this canal so let's forget this idea that doesn't make sense yeah just have it Maybe it's a dangerous canal here. Why not? All right.
Once upon a time, there was a mine with tons of miners. But there was no water, and they were dying day by day. So they decided to make a difference, but they couldn't because there was some, you know, dangerous fishes in the water maybe what a what a stupid story is this <laughs> and they all died yeah That's gonna be so enough because we gotta use normal maps on the substance painter, so it's gonna be look so detailed, but we don't have exact details with the sculpt. Yeah, it's just bump and holes and the other stuff, so that's enough to make an illusion with the normal map and sculpture. Yeah. Let's make different terrain here. Just bombs and other cool angles and touches here. Yeah. Oops. I don't want to touch it. This is the special area. All right. Alright. Looks like it's covered by the dirt, right? Is that what we want to tell as the story? The mine with covered with the big amount of sand and dirt. Is that so? Hmm. It's almost done. Is it boring to watch this kind of sequence? Yeah, I can guess. Thankfully, you can pass forward it. <laughs> yeah, unless me. I wish I could fast forward my progress and I can make models in a couple of seconds. Yeah. What a dream. Now we can have a little bit extra details for the front side only because it's so close to camera, right? So there's no harm to increase the details here, just like this. Now I can decrease the Detail size. Okay. It's it should be look uh rocky, right? Mm -hmm. 
but I need to see it from the camera. Oh no! I didn't save it. Please don't crash. Don't crash. I forgot to save it. Oh, fine. Yeah. Okay. Everything is fine. Where is my camera, dude? Where is my camera? Don't go like this. Activate Dynatopo again and keep working. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do here. Some rocky shapes. We're just sculpting it. What is this? Okay, it's here. Can't go away. Just a little bit here. I'm checking the left camera. Come on. Yeah, come on, please. Oh, look at this shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. I wasn't meaning that. Okay, please. Have details a little bit. That's better. That's better. Whatever. That's better. <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever. So, let's increase the details for the heel here. Also, I gotta touch it from the bottom side. That's it. Yeah. Of course. It can't fly like this. It's not a flying... Um, flying bridge. Don't forget to save. Otherwise, you can cry so bad because you don't want to lose your progress after one hour, right? Always save your stuff. Okay, I will remind you. I will remind it to you actually all the time, okay? Now we're almost there. It's like a rocky landscape. Of course, you can work on your own scene more than me, okay? Just like, you know, you can spend your days uh, for the hills or the small details. You know me, I'm just trying to show you different kind of styles. And I can spend my days only for details 
but I believe that it's so enough to show show it to uh, the fundamentals to you. And after that, I believe that you can you can find your way, you can find your own style, and you know you can maybe you can make some scenes better than me that will be so cool yeah i'm not a jealous man so that will be so nice if my viewers can model better than me and yeah why not we're like a uh, stairs in art world so i learned lots of things uh, from different guys on YouTube and I made my way I'm graduated from fine arts but I had my own style and now I have my own style in blender too so you're gonna you're gonna find your own style and you can show your stuff to me if you have art station or something you can share your portfolios on the comments maybe i can i can have suggestions for you yeah that's fine that's always fine i think i got to decrease this entrance here and make it flat did you realize that there's no door how can you get inside this building so the miners have died just because of this there was no door and they couldn't get inside these huge buildings and they gone yeah what a sad story they made a huge building but without doors you don't want that you want to get inside the house you made yeah what a sad story i'm gonna save it Yeah, come on, please. Don't crash. I love you, Blender. Don't crash. It's not a big deal. It's just a couple of bumps. Don't crash. Please. Please. Come on. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Go to edit mode and yeah there's not a there's not a big deal here so everything is fine it's good to go for painter also right but i just need to change the position of these buildings i know look at this it's covered by sands yeah we have the pack here do you want to do you want to see it as rendered mode let's see now let's let's check it what we have we have landscape here we have oh it's flying dude come on come on okay no problem we oh shit we have the bridge does mine city and even if we don't see the details here we have landscapes here also the construction building we made in this episode and we have landscapes but there is no light here let's just delete this one yeah now we have more details just like i wanted to and i'm gonna fix this 
now and we can finalize this episode it's been one hour and the next episode will be about the uh, texturing and that's the fun part and maybe we can we can try to finish the whole scene on the next episode yeah that will be cool and what we did what else hmm. let's bring the shadow back this way that's more accurate with the reference okay yeah it's looking so cool don't you think I can't imagine how it's going to look when I finish this texturing and lighting and color correction. That's going to be awesome, right? Okay. The last thing, just fix this, this problem here. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Look at this. That's so stupid. Just increase and make a touch from everywhere. I said everywhere, please. It's not possible to understand it in, in these angles. That's why I made a mistake. It's still not touching. Come on, please. Yeah, now it's okay. Finally. 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 That's okay. Do I need to fix this area? Yeah. We're gonna wait just for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. Please. Can you? Can you? Can you? Yeah. Okay, we fixed that. I don't want to touch anything from now on. Okay. Everything is fine. Okay, see you on the next episode. And we're going to make some details, textures, and lighting. I'm going to try to finish it on the next one. Okay, thank you for watching. Check out, check out my Patreon to download lots of different kind of models from my previous projects which you didn't see all of them but you can download it it's available for my supporters actually right so i'm happy to know that you are watching it thank you for supporting me guys okay yeah bye bye <laughs>